It'll be a year to bounce back for the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins coming off a winless season last year. But, ah, oh, Coach Dustin Etheridge, you've got a plan, right? This is all a part of the plan. <laughs> uh, low expectations the first year, raise them a little bit this year. What is the goal? What, uh, what, do, you, what do you look to do? Well, this is a new group of guys. We've, uh, we've instilled um, our culture, our, mm -hmm. our thoughts, our processes, and they've done a really good job this summer and um, in our offseason buying in. So our goals are to take it one game at a time, figure out our identity, um, gain some confidence early, and then um, see where we go. You got to play a lot of young guys last year. Uh, that should help too, shouldn't it? That core group of young guys yeah. is very important. Um, the the culture within our team right now is awesome. It's at a very high, at a very very high mark because they've been playing together since you know pee wee football mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, we're very excited for them. For the private schools, it's always a numbers game. Have you got enough numbers? Are you feeling pretty good about your numbers? You never feel good enough about your numbers. <laughs> so, um, but we're always, uh, we've done a good job of recruiting the hallways. We've got yeah. some new transfers coming in. Um, excited to add them to the Dolphin family. So we feel good. You got 11 on each side of the ball. You can at least do that. And that, we'll, that. we'll put the best 11 on whatever side of the ball we need to. <laughs> One of those 11, and yeah, he's going to be on both sides of the ball, is uh, Danny Fernandez. Going to play both sides of the line and long snap. Uh, you don't want to miss any plays, do you? You just want to be out there for everything? Um, no, I love to help and uh, support my team, and I, I love playing both sides and just doing anything I can for the win. Yeah. Talk about the culture and talk about the changes and talk about what you guys went through last year and how that's going to going to help this season. Well, yeah, uh, as Coach stated, we had a lot of young guys last year. Um, just getting into a new culture, and this year we're really looking to bounce back. A lot of people have been showing up for summer practices, and it's going to look really good. Okay. Now, what's the strength of the team? Since you're on offense and defense, you 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 don't have to be uh, you know partial one way or the other. What what's what are you guys going to rely on early? Um, you know, I think we're just going to play our game early yeah. um, and just adjust as the game goes on. I we're looking really good both ways right now, so I can't really name one out specifically. It, it does feel good. You've, you've, you've got a good feeling about the way the offense looks? I have a great feeling about the way the offense looks, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Long snapper. Uh, that's kind of that's a lot to add to having to play offense and defense. Well, yeah, um, I got into it sophomore year as a backup to uh, old alumni, Will Barney. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's I enjoy it. Uh, I like our punter a lot. We have a great connection. And I just feel like the team as a whole this year has a great connection together. Okay. Offensively, uh, what's this team going to try to do this year? What what have you what have you put in as part of the culture and the uh, and the progression from that? Well, first off, I hired a great new OC. There you so go, standing right <laughs> behind me. So he's going to take a lot of the load off of me. Um, but we're going to rely on you know running the football, and you can talk to him. Introduce him. No, this introduce is him. Uh, Coach Keegan Thine. He's going to be our offensive coordinator this year. All right, Coach. So so what are you going to do? He's he's uh, he he. Gave you all the props. Yeah, so I'll go back to one of the earlier questions. Culture, yeah. culture, culture, okay? And so last year we, we had a lot of different transitions in the beginning of the year. We got that all figured out. We got to ask two things of the guys, just be aggressive mm -hmm. and to be on top of their play, win every play, every down. All right. Coach Etheridge, Coach Tyne, guys, congratulations on a good start, it looks like, to a season. Uh, we look forward to seeing the progression of the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins as we head to, through the 2023 season. And that's a wrap for this edition of the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Thank you all so much for watching. And I want to thank the team behind the scenes that make our newscasts happen. And stay safe and healthy, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.